Future Forward. A Chinese city is signing a deal for US Hyperloop, the train system. The trains will be built in Tongren City in the Ganzhou province. The plan is for speeds of up to 1,000 kilometers an hour. Earlier on Quest Express at the Stock Exchange, the CEO of Hyperloop said China could make it happen faster than other countries could. We are able to build and operate much cheaper than high-speed rail, for example. So our, all our feasibility studies so far have shown roughly um, um, construction costs from 20 to 30 million per kilometer. But um, we estimate that in China we actually might be able to build it much cheaper. The one big problem is, I mean, the theory is good and the limited practical uh, examples that have been built so far seem to be good, but there's no full-scale up and running you know, uh, project. Um, and I'm wondering, uh, China's taking a risk in deciding to build this. No, actually, we are, we are now in the commercialization phase. So we are building a full-scale prototype in Toulouse in France. Um, all the tests so far have been, have been done, but you need to really build a full-size system to really make everything work. I mean, the technology is not really the hurdle. The technologies have been working for quite some time. There's, uh, it's more an integration issue, right? So you have to bring all of these technologies right. together and make them work in a perfect way. What's fascinating is that it is China that is taking the risk here. Once again, it is China that is being forward-looking and saying, look, this might work and might solve a very real problem. This is different to in many places in the West, which is tinkering with Hyperloop, but nobody's committed. Well, we actually do have some other commercial projects already. So we're working in the Emirates and Abu Dhabi. Um, we, the Ukrainian government, um, has an attempt to build a commercial system. And now China, of course, is uh, a very big player. China is the leader when it comes right. to high-speed so rail. They, you know, they, they have the highest um, spending when it comes to infrastructure, and they have problems, right? The cities are overflowing, so you need to solve those issues. When do you think this will be up and running? Give me, I won't hold you to it, sir. I won't hold you to it, I promise you. But give me a rough idea of when I might put my bum on a seat. <laughs> You know, China is always very aggressive, so um, our time estimates are a little bit more conservative. We estimate that roughly within three years, we um, should be able to go and ride in the first Hyperloop together on the first 10 kilometers. Um, but, uh, you know, the, our Chinese uh, colleagues are very aggressive and believe that they can do it much faster. And he 